Things need to change in Edmonton, and they need to change fast. Yeah, we had a 4 1 lead, but it wasn't really a 4 1 game. McDavid was visibly frustrated when addressing the media after blowing a 4 1 lead to the New York Rangers just a couple of days ago, and he has every right to be. These are the moments before the playoffs that teams should really be locking in, and losses like this are very alarming. And so of course frustration is going to set in when you're putting up league best numbers and still managing to lose games, and that's why McDavid wants change, which I'm going to address later in the video. So the Oilers started off pretty hot as they put to work the league's best power play and then an easy rebound for Ryan Nugent Hopkins to put them in the lead. Then just 5 minutes later, Tyson Berry reads the play and pinches to the slot to clean up. Just a high IQ play for him. And then literally just 19 seconds later, Derek Ryan nets back-to-back -back game goals from a clean snipe. Then the Rangers would respond with a crisp tic-tac-toe play from Panarin, Zibanejad, and Kreider. But before the period ended, Edmonton would go back to the power play and Leon Dreisaitl nets a real beauty, putting up the Oilers 4-1 heading into the second where things really began to go downhill. Just under halfway into the third period, the Oilers would give up a shorthanded goal in the worst way possible as Tyson Berry inadvertently blocks the pass, allowing Kreider to score a goal the Oilers didn't want to give up. And despite Campbell's best efforts to keep the lead at 2, the Rangers would score early in the third from Lafreniere and of course tie the game late from Zibanejad's 5 on 3 power play goal. And after nothing really happening in overtime, the game would go to shootout where the Oilers would lose 5 to 4. It's pretty clear to me that this Oilers team is still missing pieces and that is so disappointing for fans and especially McDavid. Despite his insane talents and efforts, there remains to be seen a consistent change with this team even with addressing past issues of goaltending with Jack Campbell. They aren't dominating the way a championship caliber team should and perhaps this is why McDavid and others have specifically requested management to address the back end of the team with very specific descriptions saying they want a guy who can bring the puck out of the zone and with many trade rumors going around the league. It sounds to me like Eric Carlson really does fit that bill. If you're the Oilers, you might as well be all in on the playoffs this year. And when you have an elite talent like Connor McDavid on the team, you just have to make use of it. With McDavid being the star player, the franchise player of this team, you want to have him in Edmonton as long as you possibly can. And if he wants a guy like Eric Carlson or a defenseman, it's definitely in your best interest to give this guy the tools that he needs to win a cup. Things are definitely getting interesting in Edmonton. I want to know your thoughts. Let me know below. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the content. It's Cappy and I'm out.